Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on bounded lattice in lattices in discrete mathematics. In the previous video, we are already discussed about what is lattices as algebraic systems and what is complete lattice with one example problem. So please uh, refer that videos for better understanding of what is complete lattice and what is lattices as algebraic systems. Now in this video we have to discuss about what is bounded lattice and what are the examples for bounded lattice that can be explained in this video. Okay, first I am explaining example. After explaining the example, then we can go for the definition for better understanding. Okay, now consider example 1. So P of S, comma, union, comma, intersection is a bounded lattice. We have to verify that whether this is a bounded lattice or not. Okay, where S is a finite set, that means S is equal to set of A comma B comma C. Okay, set S contains only three elements that are A, B and C. Now, P of S, P of S is nothing but power set of S. What is power set? Set of all subsets of S is nothing but power set of S. Power set of S can be denoted by P of S. Okay. Then S contains three elements. How many number of elements in power set? That is 2 power N. Okay. Where N is equal to number of elements in the set S. Therefore, 2 power 3 that is equal to 8. 8 elements are there in the power set of S. That elements are first element is pi. Okay, pi is nothing but null set. Second one is set of A, individual element. Set of B, individual element. Set of C, individual element. Now, set A is combined with B. Then we are getting set of A comma B. Next, A is combined with C. Then we are getting set of A comma C. Next, B is combined with C. Then we are getting set of B comma C. Next, A is combined with B and combined with C. Then we are getting the set, set of A comma B comma C. How many number of elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 elements are there in power set of S when set S contains 3 elements. Set S contains 3 elements. Okay. Now, here P of S is nothing but power set of set S. What are the operations that can be performed on the power set of S? That is union operation and intersection operation. So, P of S is power set of S. On that power set of S, we have to perform two operations that is union operations and intersection operation. Now, for that power set of S, we have to draw the Hasse diagram. So, this is the Hasse diagram for power set of S. Okay. First element I am taken pi. Okay. Next element is A. Pi union set of A. Then what we are getting? So set of A because pi is a null set. Next one, pi is combined with B. Pi union set of B. Then what we are getting? Set of B. Next one, pi is union with set of C. Then we are getting set of C. Okay. Pi union set of A. Then we are getting set of A. We have to draw the edge between pi and set of A. Pi is combined with the set of B. So then we are getting set of B. We have to draw the edge between set of B. 
Next, pi is combined with the C. So, we are getting set of C. Then we have to draw the edge between pi and set of C. Okay. Next one, set of A is combined with the set of B. So, set of A union set of B. Then what we are getting? Set of A comma B. Next one, set of B is combined with the set of C. That means set of B union set of C. Then what we are getting? Set of B comma C. Next, set of A is combined with the set of C. Then we are getting set of A comma C. So, set of A comma B, set of A comma C, set of B comma C. Okay. Next, after that, we have to combine set of A comma B, set of A comma C, set of B comma C. That means, set of A comma B union, set of A comma C union, set of B comma C. Then we are getting set of A comma B comma C. So, set of A comma B comma C is nothing but set yes. Okay. Next one. In the same way, okay. So, set of A comma B comma C and set of A comma B. What is the intersection between them? So, that is set of A comma B. Next one. Set of A comma B comma C and set of A comma C. What is the intersection between them? Set of A comma C. Next, set of A comma B comma C and set of B comma C. What is the intersection between them? Set of B comma C. Next one. Uh, set of A comma B, set of A comma C. What is the intersection between them? Set of A. Next, set of A comma C, set of B comma C. What is the intersection between them? Set of C. Okay. Next, uh, uh, set of A, uh, set of A comma, uh, set of, okay. Next one, set of A and set of B. What is the intersection between them? That is pi. Set of B, set of C, what is the intersection between them? Pi. Set of A and set of C, what is the intersection between them? Pi. Okay. When we are going from top to bottom, union operation can be performed. When we are going from bottom to top, bottom to uh, top to bottom, intersection operation can be performed. Okay. So, this is the Hussey diagram of power set of S. Yes when S is equal to set of A comma B comma C. When we are going from bottom to top, union operation can be performed. When we are going from top to bottom, intersection operation can be performed. Okay. By observing the Hussey diagram, here the greatest element is set of A comma B comma C that is equal to S. This is called as greatest element. Okay, with respect to the union and intersection operations. Okay, next, uh, the least element in that Hussey diagram is pi. Okay, pi is the least element in power set of S with respect to the union and intersection operation. Okay, so the greatest element is set of A comma B comma C that is equal to S and the least element is equal to pi. The greatest element yes can be denoted by one, least element uh, that is pi that can be denoted by a zero. Okay. Whenever a lattice contains a greatest element and a least element, so then that type of lattice is called as bounded lattice. Whenever a lattice contains the greatest element and the least element, then that type of lattice are called as bounded lattice. Okay, greatest element and the least element are called as the bounds of the lattice. Whenever a lattice contains a greatest element and the least element, then that type of lattice is called as bounded lattice. Generally, in a bounded lattice, the greatest element is 1 and the least element is 0. Okay. With respect to the union and intersection operations on the power set of S, the greatest element is S and the least element is pi. So, whenever uh, this lattice contains both greatest element 
and the least element where greatest element is equal to set s and the least element is equal to pi hence we can say that t of s comma union comma intersection is a bounded lattice okay now we can take any pair of elements for that pair of elements least upper bound and greatest lower bound contains so hence we can say that this can be called as a lattice first of all t of s comma union comma intersection is a lattice because we can take any pair of elements for that pair of elements both least upper bound and greatest lower bound exist okay so we can take uh, these pair of elements set of a and set of b least upper bound is set of a comma b greatest lower bound is pi next we can take the pair of elements so set of b and set of c so the least upper bound is set of b comma c and the greatest lower bound is pi now we can take the pair of elements set of a and set of c the least upper bound is set of a comma c greatest lower bound is pi okay now we can take any pair of elements set of a comma b and set of a comma c so least upper bound the least upper bound is set of a comma b comma c and uh, greatest lower bound is pi next we can take any pair of elements set of a comma c and set of b comma c the least upper bound is set of a comma b comma c the greatest lower bound is set of c okay so in this way we can take any pair of elements for that pair of elements both least upper bound and the greatest lower bound exist hence we can say that p of s comma union comma intersection is a lattice because we can take any pair of elements for that pair of elements both least upper bound and the greatest lower bound exist hence we can say that p of s comma union comma intersection is a lattice now this lattice is said to be bounded lattice whenever it contains a uh, greatest element and the least element here the greatest element is a s and the least element is pi hence we can say that p of s comma union comma intersection is a bounded lattice okay next we can go for another example so here i plus comma less than is equal to i is nothing but set of integers here plus is nothing but positive integers so set of positive integers and the relation is less than or equal to is not a bounded lattice it is not a bounded lattice because uh, we can take the set of positive integers okay so positive integers are starts with 1 okay so starts with 1 hence we can say that 1 is nothing but least element okay among the set of positive integers the greatest element is infinity okay that means for that uh, set of positive integers set least element is 1 but greatest element does not exist because uh we can consider the set of positive integer set okay so there is no limit there is no limit because last element is infinity infinity is nothing but uncountable so that the greatest element for that set is not exist does not exist okay only least element is exist and the greatest element is does not exist hence we can say that i plus less than or equal to is not a bounded lattice whenever it contains both the greatest element and the least element hence we can say that it is a bounded lattice but for this set and for this relation least element is exist and the greatest element does not exist hence we can say that this is not a bounded lattice okay now we can go for the definition bounded lattice is one of the special type of lattice okay among the special type of lattices bounded lattice is one type okay we can say that bounded lattice is a special type of lattice next one a lattice l is said to be bounded lattice 
if it contains both greatest element and least element whenever a lattice contains both greatest element and least element that type of lattice is said to be bounded lattice okay in generally in the bounded lattice the greatest element is always 1 and the least element is always 0 okay in the case of power set the greatest element is a yes and the least element is pi okay according to the set and according to the operation the greatest element and the least element may be changed in generally the bounded lattice contains a greatest element 1 and the least element is 0 okay so this is the uh, definition and this is the example 1 and this is the example 2 so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so divela srinivasarao divela srinivasarao so please refer that videos to your uh, friends and classmates and told them please subscribe my channel name. Thank you. The Bella Srinivas Rao.